Welcome to the Business of Pleasure, where we're putting the fun in funds and the sexy in success. Brought to you by Bedroom Candy Boutique Parties, this podcast is your one-stop shop for empowering education, earning potential, and unforgettable wow moments. I am your host, your sexologist, Bestie Cash, and I invite you to join us as we dive into the sophisticated discussions about pleasure, self-care, and everything in between. Yes, baby, the bathroom, the bedroom, and beyond. So speaking of the bags Mm -hmm. and giving you your flowers, I would like a little permission to talk to Mistress Angel for a moment. Do I have your permission, mistress? <laughs> That's the whole mood. <laughs> <laughs> Switch character real quick. Mm. <laughs> you didn't just start, um, you know, form a, a sexy brand with Bedroom Candy. Mm-hmm. You actually have been known to be quite the blueprint for sexy experiences, period. Right? Yes. Um, time and time again. But um, one of the most known being the dungeon. Yes. Right. So for those who aren't familiar and the dungeon show is like a burlesque dungeon themed variety show. Right. Of a lot of experiences, mm-hmm. games, performances. It was very sexy every single time. And different. Very much so. Very mm-hmm. much so. Um, I would love if you could pick some of your favorite moments from the dungeon experience. What would you pick as your top three dungeon moments? ever? <sighs> oh, my God. Um, now, is that a see, of now what, <laughs> what happens in the dungeon is stay supposed to in stay the in the dungeon, <laughs> to be clear. But I guess I will, uh, we won't have to say anybody's name, so okay. we'll be fine. Okay, multiple, I got multiple favorite moments. Okay, mm-hmm. I know the first time we ever did the dungeon experience in Atlanta, I think probably was. One of my favorites, because we did it in a smaller venue. Right. But we had experiences from the time you came in the door. It was going to be. So we had adult had perform. Too, right? Yeah, we made people check their phones. Because we had some people that were doing the illusion of sex. Oh. In the front. They weren't actually having sex in the hallway, but. You know, it would be like, say, for instance, in this square box mm-hmm. the, or over this area, area, it's, you know, a man and woman doing... Like touching, kind of stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, or grinding or something. Then on this side, you may see three people doing something together. Mm-hmm. That side is another person. Um, we had a, a naked woman on a table with, like, fruit. All and desserts over. All oh, like over a her. like a charcuterie. Oh, what do you call it? Charcuterie. Board? Yeah. So when like, people came in, they could take a sample, not off of her, of, off but of the, just off of the. Yeah, they could just pick it up off her. It was um, one person that was doing um, that had the whip the and the and flogger. And okay. And they were flogging people in some. You know, you can come up and you can try to flog and somebody. See how it, feels. it was just all these like super erotic experiences mm-hmm. that. You would be like, oh, my God, I cannot believe I just walked I just in, came here. in here. Now, that. mind you, nobody was completely nude. Mm-hmm. They would have on either like lace or something. something. So it wasn't to the it wasn't to the point of where you could say it was like porn, It reminds me of like Cinemax. I call it like Cinemax we, where they would have certain things, but you they would always conceal you from seeing. Yeah. Enough, but enough to get the picture. Enough to get the yeah. picture. Yes. And um, but this was all happening while people were just going up to get drinks at the front. Oh. Okay. And then when you came through the big doors was, you know, where the stage was. And obviously, um, the show itself, you know, we have a games. It's a very um I think it's inclusive a, yeah. show. And I think that I the thing that I noticed about it, it, it didn't, ma- didn't matter where we went, didn't matter how nobody was fighting. We never had any arguments, any fights. It was people from all uh, sexuality types, mm-hmm. all genders, all, you know, whatever. And nobody had any issue with anybody. At all. I mean, I was at, I've been to four <laughs> dungeon shows and I can agree. Now, I will say I, there were some cities that was a little more... Bout it, bout yeah, it. Yeah, they was yeah. with it. Like, I know that Texas side was just... Ooh, Texas. <laughs> right. Let's talk about Texas now. I was going to get to that. 
<laughs> so, okay, so I was just saying that was the first dungeon that we mm-hmm. did. So the ones that we did after that, they didn't have the um, the out experiences out in the lobby, mm-hmm. but, you know, it was still the experiences and the fun and stuff the shows, on stage. Yeah. So, but what I was about to say was our show is very um, inclusive of the audience. So we, it's interactive. Right. We bring people up to play games and different things like that. So you never know when you're going to get called up. It, and, and mind you, we ask you for your permission yes. to involve you, to touch you, mm-hmm. or, you know, so you, uh, you consent is very big. Consent the show, is yeah. very big in the show. So anyway, um, in this particular show, we had this game. Delicious was my co host. Mm-hmm. And we would throw the dice, and depending on what the dice landed on, similar to the bedroom candy dice that you all should own, Mm -hmm. one represents a body part, one represents an action. Mm -hmm. And so whatever it landed on, either they had to kiss the neck or kiss the breast or kiss, you know, or touch or a hug or whatever. (laughs) This particular time, we had a couple on stage. We had three couples each. It's three couples. They all get to roll the dice, and we get to see whoever is about it the best best is, you know, the one who wins, and the crowd picks them. But this one couple, they just got butt naked on stage and literally was going to town. (laughs) I was like... (sighs) No, mind you. They was living their little was, exhibitionist dreams. Was, what? I was sitting there like, Lord, please don't let me get locked up. <laughs> but mind you, they were a married couple. Okay. I mean, I didn't know they was a married couple, but they were a married couple. Mm-hmm. So what they chose to do in front of everybody, and mind you, we had like a few thousand people in the building. Okay. But the, I never saw a video of that out anywhere. Did you? No. No, never. No. And it, I think I don't think I've seen videos of anything beyond just like the stage performances. Like yeah. I wasn't really seeing people really was respecting the privacy, which I loved. Mm-hmm. Like um, the other cool part was um, we encourage everybody to come dressed in your favorite dungeon costume. So the mm-hmm. costumes that people would wear some of them would be so over the top. And we would give away a prize. A prize. Uh, what was that? A thousand? Thousand dollars. It was a thousand dollars. You had a thousand dollar one. I think it was another contest too that you gave something for. Yeah. Cash prize. But yeah. Yeah. So every every show, somebody was able to walk away just from being in the audience and take money home. But when I tell you, those costumes that they had would be so dope sometimes. And, I, and it was so exciting to see. Mm-hmm. You know, but that couple was one, but it was another couple in Philly, I believe, okay. where the girlfriend kept trying to pull her man's thing out on stage to give him a hand. And I could tell he wasn't ready. He, he was. Like, he kept like, uh, uh-uh, but no, no, babe. That's uh-uh. that example. That's that example of you. she told you she was a freak, and you ain't know that she was really a freak. <laughs> he, was, he was looking like, uh, this ain't ready for everybody to see. <laughs> I, I need a little moments. I'm wondering, because, you know, a guy who's who's uh, hung probably wouldn't have had that anxiety. But then yeah. also you got some people who's just performance anxiety. Like, you got a whole what? lot of eyes on you. I hear that. She was like, I'm ready to win this this. Oh, concept. she was <laughs> with it. Do you understand me? I used to love seeing the game you guys did with the money. Um, the, the sticky. Oh, I love that game. Yeah. Watch now, it. I would ask people, did I have their permission to touch them? And they... Oh, you know, you, you know, it only was people who said yes. Who said yes. Yeah. So I would rub honey on the, their body Mm -hmm. and they would get in the money machine and whatever money they got to stick to them, they were able to keep keep it. Yeah. Now we have a honey at BK y'all too, by the way. Ah. (laughs) Now this one is not to stick money to, it's to stick your tongue to. All right, but it's, you can do that too. You, you yeah. can do, you know, you can do a little something with it. So y'all check out our sweet spot honey flavor. But yeah, you used to, and you was not playing with that honey. It was like, <laughs> but that was, I think that was part of the fun in it, right? Like some of the people wanted me to touch, touch them. them. Yeah, you know, and yeah. Very. I didn't think anybody was looking hesitant when you would be like, "Do I have your con- yes?" Twenty times over, they was like, yeah. Yeah, I said, it was like, yes, and yes." That's exactly how they were. Yeah, <laughs> and it was kind of, it's kind of like crazy. Like I know there's gonna be one of the experiences I think about when mm-hmm. I get older. Like I literally was rubbing honey, honey on people. the breast of people. I have no idea of what their name was. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
or you know even with guys you know rub their chest or whatever it was like mm -hmm. you know it was just interesting but it was so fun like, yes yes I it was a good time that's what i loved about it the most was that you know people were able to be carefree they didn't, you know, they weren't being judged. You didn't have to participate in anything. You could have just came to have fun and just and watch the see, show. Yeah, enjoy yep. the show. It wasn't any pressure from anybody to do anything. But I just love the fact that people of all walks of life could come to a place, have a good mm -hmm. time, and it'd be no drama. And no drama. And you know that that reminds because if you think about it, that kind of was like a big example of modeling, like what technically Bedroom Candy does. We go mm -hmm. to people's homes. We expose them to yeah. some stuff they might not necessarily be that used to. You got your people who's like this. We have games. Right? Yep. We have games at the parties. And then you're getting this experience. But then you got your more adventurous people who's swinging, you know. They want to turn those, up. Right. And then you got the other ones who say nothing, but then they go to that order room. Yeah. And they like this, 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 this. So exactly. it, it's, I think the dungeon was so good at that. And I remember seeing, I mean, the, the restraints, people getting tied up, all kind of mm. stuff. But Loved it. <laughs> I, I, every time we leave a dungeon, the only question is, people are like, when are we coming back? When are we coming back? Yeah, and it's so funny being on this um, Queens of R&B tour. Every time I go into the meet and greet, mm -hmm. it's always a few people in there is like, when you bring in the dungeon back? Oh, I was at the dungeon. Here's our picture when we was at the dungeon. I come to everything. I want to come back to the dungeon. And um, we are in talks of possibly doing it again Um Y'all heard still it here figuring first. It, still <laughs> figuring it out. Um, but that's really one of those things that it's just so much fun. Like you, you just want And that's why we said at the beginning, we put the fun in funds. Because while yeah. it's a profitable experience, it really was a good time. So and I and I, I and think that for business it. as it pertains to bedroom candy, I always was able to incorporate, you know, bedroom candy products and some of the games. Um, we had Bedroom Candy consultants and the lobbies of every, um, you know, performance mm -hmm. um, so that people could get the products or learn more about being a consultant or whatever they wanted to do. So it was opportunity for Bedroom Candy in, at every dungeon. Every single dungeon show. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, well. I definitely have had a time or two at the dungeon. I sure did. We had a, we, we had a, <laughs> the last dungeon was definitely, I had a lot of fun in that, that, that um, show. Fun. But um, yeah, cause we did all kind of stuff. Uh, uh, head giving contests. Yes. We had, well, you know. Now she has this demonstration <laughs> that she does. Y'all, if she ever give another class, you have to take her class. Okay, just saying. Uh, we I, we incorporated that into, into one of the, the fun game. moments yeah. of the show. Yeah. And it was hilarious. And I think a lot of people, just the unexpectedness. And I, what I love the most about the dungeon is it tiptoes the line. Yeah. Like we really, we really understand, help people understand like, hey, these are the things that's possible. Now y'all could go home and y'all could cross the line. Yeah. But it definitely tiptoed the line. And I think it got a lot of, there was some interesting personalities, people who I would have never expected to be like up there having, you know, yeah. so... I love that. So I want to, um, I have, because we're about to bring somebody else over here to Ooh. sit down with us. Okay. Because we've already talked about this person, but I think it's really important that everybody gets a chance to meet this person. Um, guys, one thing I love that you do, Candy, is anything you're doing outside of Bedroom Candy, you still find a way to plug back, right, your business opportunities, and mm -hmm. especially BK, the Peach Social on the Housewives episode was mm -hmm. one of the biggest ones. And it was really a huge part of um, showing people more of what the brand had to offer. Yeah. So I do have one question before I bring our next guest to sit down with us. Okay. Is how many people were surprised, like of your even your most immediate circles, when they came to that Peach Social and saw more than the toys? Like, because I feel like we had like <laughs> ten different rooms. I mean. It. The people who really know me, are they really surprised at this point? No, I don't think they surprised no. at any of that stuff. I think any, you know. But like the bath and body stuff. Because I felt like a lot of people okay. didn't know. Yeah, we a were. lot of people are surprised when they find out that we have more than just adult toys. So um, I think a lot of people are still finding out about yeah. that. You yeah, know? for sure. And we have some of the best bath and body products around period. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people are really starting to learn that. 
Mm -hmm. um, which is cool that, you know, it's still things for people to get to know about the brand, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, automatically people, I think, think, think more about the sexual Because more products. of the rooms, yeah, more of the rooms were like other stuff than the toys that mm -hmm. day. And I, in, that, in the spirit of that conversation, there are some Bath & Body products that we have. And I know one of them you've mentioned before, and I wanted you to see if you could just talk about it. I have it here. Mm -hmm. And this one, I know I you know what that. Yeah, look, look, I ain't even get to turn it. The, 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 sure. the, the bottle. I'll be trying to tell people it, this hot cakes, honey. It makes it it makes your love below. Oh, well, actually, some people put it in other areas. Other areas too. You can use it. I put it down by the love below, but <laughs> some people put it under their arm area, under their breasts. Yes. Um, they put it in different areas, but it makes it smell like a cookie. I love hot cakes like literally it doesn't taste like anything so people mm -hmm. they talk about the senses and a lot of people don't know that your sense mm -hmm. of smell and your taste are connected so you right. can smell something and lick at the same time and your mind will be tricked into, into thinking, thinking that it yeah. right and so funny thing is when I first used hot cakes I was um engaged at the time right Ooh. and yeah you go <laughs> <laughs> we got a new boo now y'all now yeah, yeah, yeah. but what it was so funny about it was he used to think I was using hot cakes as like a signal to say I wanted head, right? Oh, really? And I was really just putting it on after my shower. Like you said, mm -hmm. down there, I used it in the same area. And one day he was just like, why you don't just ask? And I was like, no, he didn't. Yeah, and I was like, ask what? And he was like, like you come in here smelling like, you know, Thank this you. is and that. And I felt like it was a hint, hint. <laughs> So I was like, is that why you've been giving me so much head? Like, hey, I'm I not wouldn't about turn it down. You. Yeah, I wasn't about to stop hey, you. What does that mean? Yeah, so you're right. It definitely does kind of attract that that fragrance. Hey, there, yeah. it, it gives the, the idea that they're eating dessert, mm -hmm. basically. But it's not designed for that. And that's where mm -hmm. um, people... Again, with the and it's you know for those of you who have sensitive skin or sensitive, it's, it all of our products are hypo hypoallergenic, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> hypoallergenic, and even some of them are vegan. Hotcakes mm -hmm. being one of them. Yeah. So I always tell people, you know, you can also keep to your little diet. Mm -hmm. um, but hotcakes is actually designed to keep the bacteria from yes. you know kind anti of anti-fungal, anti-fungal bacteria, and also helps with that perspiration and pH balance all day. It gives you all the rules on the. On, on the, the bottle. bottle, yes. But for 12 <laughs> hours, this thing will keep you fresh. Smelling good. And smelling like cake. So that's one of the products. But I have a flower. I, I, I need to say this one more time. It's not yeah. not for when you're just having sex, y'all. Yes. You need to smell good every day. <laughs> okay. All right. Now go ahead. But I have another flower, one of which you haven't had a chance to see yet because we decided to surprise <laughs> Oh now we know, obviously, as they, our company, they surprise me founder, at my own Yeah, stuff. we surprising today. We know as our founder, she has a hand in everything, but we knew we were doing this, and we wanted to okay. find a way to give you another special flower. So I've been kind of hiding it in this little mm. peach buzz satin privacy pouch. And guys, mm -hmm. like when you get a bedroom candy product, we spoke about quality. You're gonna get a sexy pouch to be what able to carry this? this. And I have another flower, Ooh. a new flower. Oh. <laughs> that we are leaking, okay? I am. I might get in trouble for this, okay? But I am leaking a new flower here at Bedroom Candy. Ooh, this, mm. this, this is, is our one. new petal pleaser, and we already have a lot of finger. We have another finger vibe. How do you feel about that? Just so y'all know, if y'all be wondering, <laughs> like, how can Candy have a product she don't know about? I told you I have partners, Suki yes. and Brun. <laughs> and they begin with Suki over there and brainchild and these new <laughs> products. She, yeah. know. <laughs> so so it's, in the spirit of giving you flowers, we was like, Ooh. maybe she don't need to know about this flower yet. But I just want to know from you, you already cut it over and started interacting with it. Y'all can't even Ooh. hear to this song. Can y'all hear it? It's too bad, is it? That thing is strong. Whisper Quiet, yes. Yes. <laughs> you found your setting? <laughs> All right, tell the people how many uses. What are you going to do with this? So this right here, guys. And be honest. Tell it's, a, it's a finger vibe, right? Mm -hmm. And if you look here in the center, it's kind of like a flower petal, mm -hmm. right? Obviously designed for your other delicate flower. Right. But with this, you can use it on the nipples. You can use it down below. It's got a good wide range coverage. Mm -hmm. So basically, anywhere you touch your partner, you can now 
vibrate, right? And what's different about this one from our um, Get In Touch, for example, which is designed with a little bit more of like a precision point, this has got that wide coverage. I don't know, this might be TMI, but I don't got one of them baby clitorises. Um, ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, you know, we're not an Arby's roast beef sandwich, uh, you know, all the way, but we like right in the middle. So I be needed, <laughs> I be needing them toys to get up, to get in them cracks and crevices. So this is definitely one of those. And I'll, I'll tell you, I got some of the um, facts because I want to make sure since it's a new one, I don't, I don't give you the exact wrong info. Okay. This particular Let's one, this back. right? There's nine preset um, patterns in it. So there's different pulsation patterns. Obviously, uh -huh. it's wearable. It is splash proof, so it can get water on the surface of it. So that mm. mean when you splash. We still good. And then what we love is that with this particular one, it also is just like our rest of our products. We back it with warranty. Mm -hmm. um, but you can notice it's also no batteries. That's a rechargeable right. bad boy. But what I think this is the perfect thing, like for me, I'm a traveler and I know you move around a lot. Mm -hmm. This right here could go in any bag. Mm -hmm. Like you can <laughs> pop it in your little pouch. <laughs> But I love that you can use it for you. But also, I immediately, I'm always thinking about how I could touch somebody else. Always. Okay, so what you going to do with it? Now, we know how you could touch a woman. Tell the people but what you're doing. I would definitely take, <laughs> let me see. Let me get I'm putting you on the spot. What no, you doing with it? I'm taking this under the balls for sure. Ooh. I definitely see this being a nice. No, no, hold on. I see a guy back there shaking his head. <laughs> When I tell you, no, 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 you got to be open-minded. See, I now I have this conversation with men all the time. Because men automatically, we don't need those toys in the bedroom. <laughs> Listen, guys. It is nothing like if your woman is giving you head mm -hmm. and she takes this and sits it right underneath your balls. Mm -hmm. You are going to go crazy. <laughs> Ain't nothing Challenging your manhood About just it. because she's sitting it underneath the mm -hmm. balls. Honestly, nobody you said know. she had to stick it in nowhere. She's no, not sticking no. it in anything. It is not taking away your manhood. Understand, you are all men. Just <laughs> let get her try them, it one time. Get them balls, please. <laughs> and I mean, really, that little area that, that between gooch, the, the, gooch. the perineum. <laughs> Tell you. That's like, that's how you don't care. You're going to thank me later. Just yes. wait. It has such, like, I, I was just feeling the texture of it. And this feels like, if you put a little lube on this, it's going to feel like a super slippery tongue that got, yeah. So check this out. Oh, I was thinking, sidebar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking about, okay, at our last convention, <laughs> when you were talking, uh, you, you were doing the head class thing, yes, right? Yes, we did it And lot. you were also talking to people about... How adding a little lube to everything makes it better. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, typically if I'm having sex, I don't really need lube, lube right? As much. But <laughs> I thought about what you said. <laughs> what I'm you like, even doing? when you just, because I can't stand when a, a guy or anybody try to like, oh, uh, do a two finger rub, do this. Oh, a dry oh, Look finger. at her face. <laughs> you could tell she really kissed. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. But you put a little lube on lube it. Lube on it. It felt you different. You was on the <laughs> It felt different. I she think because that day I pre-gamed my throat. Um, oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she said you're supposed to put a little lube in I your take mouth. take that flavored lube and I put a little bit in my mouth. Because, you know, usually you got to go down and gag to get, like, that good saliva. I got time. I'm trying to get straight get to that straight thing. Get straight to that. Yeah, yeah. So I go and take a little bit of that flavor lube. And as soon as I go on, that thing is guacking, okay, from the start to the end. But, yeah, I can't stand that cotton mouth uh, uh, feel. So I use that. And sometimes one of our other ones. Um, it stop you from being a hot tour, girl. <laughs> I don't have to hot tour. That thing is already bleh, 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 just regular in the back of my throat, right? And especially because the hot tour is a little, like, but anybody who's like germy with stuff too. Yeah, some everybody don't like everybody it. don't mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, but with mm -hmm. the lube, it's water based, it's flavored, so you make them taste like a little something. And I just realized the taste alone made me a little bit more ambitious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I man, like that yeah. was a good tip. <laughs> yes, yes. Pro tip, pro tip. So pedal pleaser 
is um, one of the products that is going to be available very soon. Mm-hmm. Um, by the time you guys get to hear about it, you'll be able to, y'all just grab these because this right here is going to fly. But we wanted to make, because you know we got plenty of flowers over here. We got our um, flower bomb and all that type of stuff. But I want to kind of move into some of our other products that we have. Um, and I'm sorry, are you putting that on the inside too, or are you just on the outside of that? I'm, we got to play with this. Uh, <laughs> not we. Not we got to play with it, but we got to play. <laughs> I don't want people getting the wrong idea. You be idea. thinking that right. So, and you but, know, people be thinking it. I they be know. thinking that I'm like going I'm around here picking just going up women <laughs> everywhere. I, no, 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 no. We, we, what you got to understand is we have these conversations openly because mm-hmm. that's what we do. But for me, I love to just play around with the toys and figure out how many different ways or how many things I can get out of it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm curious about whether this could serve an internal purpose because I would love to see what my, how my, you know, we got to figure that out. But I definitely see it, like I said, clitoral. I definitely see this under the balls, in the perineum and whatnot. I can see it on the nipples. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start there and then we're going to see where else it goes because this vibration is for it to be the small, mm-hmm. this baby packs punch from the beginning. So if you're one of those people who can't take a lot, you might need to go get one of our, our less intense vibrators because this ain't right. it. Yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> but okay, so we got a lot of toys that we want to talk about. But in order to do that, I, don't, I feel wrong even talking about toys any further without bringing in your partner and one of our oh. biggest masterminds <laughs> on that. So... Give us two seconds to come back because we want to bring you a little bit more about these vibrations. 